Oh boy, do I have a story here that I love. You guys know I love it. Anytime there's an intersection of politics and golf, I'm all for it. I'm your guy to come to to talk about this. So, New York Times has this article. Watching Trump play golf, decent drive, skip putts, lots of sweat. The former president's barge-ahead style and whim for scooping up shots too hard to make wouldn't fly on the Live Golf Series, but his Bedminster Club is hosting this weekend. Okay, so let me give the backstory here. You know, there's this Saudi league called the the Live Tour, Live Golf Tour. Um, They are picking off the PGA Tour's top talent and uh, doing a rival tour. They're throwing ridiculous sums of money at them, $100 million here, $200 million here for certain players. Um, And Trump is hosting at one of his courses in Bedminster, New Jersey, one of these events. So they have this thing at golf events, what's called a pro-am. It's it, when the professional pro plays with the ams, amateurs. And so you have, usually it's like, you know, wealthy people in, in business or whatever, a celebrity who they end up playing um, with the pro golfers. This is an instance where Trump decided, I'm going to play in the pro-am at my own course. So what you're about to see is Trump was playing with Dustin Johnson, a former world number one, and Bryson DeChambeau, up and comer who, who's already won majors, um, is changing the game in many ways. Uh, the two of the top names that have already left the PJ Tour to sell out to Saudi Arabia. So Trump's going to play with them. There's, it's an actual event. The Pro-Am is an actual event. It's a tournament where, you know, there's winners, there are losers, there might be some weird, goofy trophy presentations, whatever. I'm about to tell you the story of what Trump does. He is the most brazen, brazen cheater in the world. And he acts like nobody else can see him. Okay, let's dive into this. Uh... Walking alongside Donald Trump as he plays golf is a lot like watching his presidency. He tells you how well he's doing, mistakes are disregarded, and the one constant is an endless stream of group photos with Trump blithely flashing a toothy grin and a thumbs up. It was as entertaining, revealing, and inexplicable as it sounds. On Thursday, Trump was a contestant in the Pro-Am tournament on the eve of the Saudi-backed Live Golf event he is hosting this weekend at the lavish golf course he built in northwestern New Jersey. The intent of the outing was to team some celebrities and everyday golfers with the professionals, and Trump was naturally in the featured first grouping of the day. While Trump played a plethora of golf rounds as president... Other than his guests, few were able to witness his golf game during his four years in the White House. The news media was kept at a removed distance, but on Thursday, nearly 50 media members credentialed for the tournament, as well as some event officials, would accompany Trump on foot for 18 holes. Trump's golfing party, uh, which included security, drove in a dozen golf carts, generally two to a cart. But there was one cart predominantly occupied by a single person. It was the only ex-president on the property at the wheel. Here's where it gets good. For the Pro-Am, Trump was grouped with two of the best players to defect to the rival live golf circuit from the PJ Tour, Dustin Johnson and Bryson DeChambeau, who have won three major championships between them. About 15 minutes late, about 15 minutes late for his 10 a.m. tee time, Trump stepped onto the first tee dressed in a white shirt and black pants and sweating profusely under his signature MAGA hat. He looked pale. To be fair, a Trump National Golf Club Bedminster, which has little shade, no one walking the grounds on a humid day with temperatures in the mid-90s was comfortable. Stepping onto the tee, Trump quickly became the focal point of more than a handful of photos. He would organize the lineup of the people in the picture, often giving instructions on who should stand where, like a concierge of photo ops. Finally, it was time to start the round, and Trump's opening drive bounded left into bounded into the left rough. But it was a respectable distance from the tee for a 76-year-old, roughly 220 yards. The format for the Pro-Am was that each group would select the best tee shot and then play their second shots from that spot. Okay, so let me explain this a little bit. This is called a scramble. It's a certain uh, derivative of a scramble. And so it's exactly what they described there. Everybody hits a tee shot. You pick wherever the best tee shot goes. You, all the players, put a ball down there, hit from there, and then you play your golf ball the rest of the hole. Okay, that's the format here that we're talking about. Um... It often made it impossible to assign exact scores for any player, but on the par-4 first hole, Trump needed five strokes to get his ball in the hole for a bogey. Okay, that's respectable. But on the second hole, a telling rhythm for the day's journey was set by Trump, and it defied the polite golf protocol of waiting, waiting your turn. After his second shot to the green, Trump ignored other players in his group who had yet to hit and jumped into his cart and roared ahead. He parked within a few feet of the putting surface, also a no-no since it can damage the delicate short grass in that area, 
Standing in the fairway, half a hole behind, Trump, Dustin Johnson yelled ahead since he had yet to play his second shot and could have beamed the former president near the green. Trump put his card in reverse and moved out of range, but his barge ahead style of play continued for much of the round. Often Trump had putted out on a hole while his playing companions were still 125 yards away in the fairway. Okay, look, I I know most of you are not golfers. 98% of you are not golfers. But anybody who is a golfer, when you read that, you're thinking, this motherfucker's a sociopath. Nobody does that. You're at an event, you're at a turn, you're on the green, you got playing partners 125 yards out, and you're putting out? What? Okay, it gets better. And by the way, the driving on the green thing is total psycho shit. Nobody ever drives on a green. Nobody drives within 20, 30, 40 yards of a green. But he feels, I do have the fuck I want. It's my property. And it is his property. True. But there's about to be a big tournament playing there. You're driving the car right up to the edge of the green. That's fucking crazy. Um, where was I? A few holes later, Trump stopped to talk with a gaggle of reporters... He was asked how much he could earn by hosting the Live Golf Tournament at his course. Quote, I don't do it for that. I do it because I think it's good for golf, he said. Trump smiled. The important thing is we're all playing well. Okay, that is total bullshit. Trump probably got paid a colossal amount of money from the Saudis to have the event at his course. So yet again, a president in a financial business dealing with Saudi Arabia, just like at his D.C. hotel when he took $300,000 to have some veterans thing there, um... That makes it very likely he might do something like, I don't know, say, look the other way when Saudi Arabia butchers a journalist and chops him up into little pieces. And that's exactly what he did do. It might make it more likely that a uh, president would approve a multi-billion dollar weapons deal to a country that's currently doing a genocide. Well, that's exactly what he did. So, uh, oh, I'm doing it for the good of golf. My ass cheeks are doing it for the good of golf. Uh, By that point, Trump had registered, at best, one par. He had also not finished a hole after his blast from a bunker had failed to reach the green and was nestled in some nasty rough. Instead, he had his caddy pick up the ball and march to the next tee. On another hole, when a birdie putt rolled nearly six feet past the hole, he casually scooped the ball up to end the hole, apparently conceding himself a par. Try that this weekend in your match with your usual foursome or any foursome. All right, so let me break this down for you a little bit. Look, I don't know exactly how they were keeping score, for this uh, event, I know the format. I don't know exactly how they were keeping score. Does everybody's score have to go down? Or is it just whoever made the best on the hole, that gets put down? And so when Trump was like out of a hole, as in he couldn't make the lowest score, then he picked the ball up. But according to this, they say he picked up a six-footer and like gave it to himself. Uh, guys, this is a fucking tournament. If you're playing with your friend on the weekend or, or on a weekday or whatever, and you guys are playing lift clean in place with your golf ball or you know giving yourself three, four-footers... There's no problem with that at all. This is not just any given... It's an event. It's a tournament. You don't get to do this in a tournament? Just give himself a six-footer in a tournament? Um, at other times, a Trump mishit would simply be ignored, as if understanding the drill, his caddy would retrieve the golf ball from the sand or deep, deep rough and walk forward. Trump, however, did exhibit a sunny countenance throughout. That included a scene that he could not have expected. As he stepped onto the tee of a par 3, 176-yard hole over a large pond, he was approached by three comedians who, in concert with Live Golf, were conducting what they called the back-off challenge during the Pro-Am. The idea was that the comedians, whose project is called Country Club Adjacent, oh, I've seen these guys, would try to insult, mock, or harass each golfer on the tee if they would back off from the shot before hitting it. The scenes were being videotaped for the group's various social media networks. Trump agreed to play along. Yeah, I feel bad for these guys. Roasting the guy who's got the who's incapable of laughing at himself. Let's see what they said. As he stood over the ball, one of the comedians, Blake Weber, said, what would your following say if you hit this one left? Get it? Right wing, left wing. That's soft. They're going soft on him. Said Jake Adams, you built a golf course just to miss the green? That's also kind of weak. And finally, from Griff Pippen, your swing looks broken. Was it made in China? Trump did not flinch. They went soft on him, man. There was so much more there. Uh, Trump did not flinch, but he did slice his shot into the water. Then Trump posed with the comedians for a group picture. He paused a beat and smiled while simultaneously raising his right thumb. Okay. All right. So, I mean, this is classic Trump. I, my friend's dad is a member at one of the most exclusive golf courses in the country. And he's told us stories of he has played with Donald Trump before. He knows people who play with him or used to play with him somewhat regularly. And uh, massive cheater. Again, not in a casual round where you're having fun and there's no stakes in like tournaments, in events. He'll, you know. 
drive the cart right up next to the green, give himself six foot putts. Um, have I've heard stories of have caddies move the ball for him when he's in a tournament and hit it from the place that's now better after the caddy moved it for him, like kick it into a better lie, etc. Classic. It's classic. And this is exactly what you'd expect of Donald Trump. The, I guess the thing that's most surprising to me is the, you know, you're playing with Dustin Johnson and Bryson DeChambeau, two of the best golfers in the world. And you're like finishing out holes when they're still 125 yards. Like, that's fucking crazy, man. That is insane. Anyway, there you have it. Um, and I'm sure he got paid a colossal amount of money to have this uh, event at his uh, his course. If he becomes president again, if he wins again, you can expect the relationship with Saudi Arabia will be insanely tight. Um, it will be two peas in a pod of, you know, massive authoritarians <laughs> repressing their political opponents and defending each other to the hilt. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.